I just went down a shop. And, and I was thinking, you know, like the whole world's changed. Aliens and spaceships all in public. And here it is. How can they, how can they do that? They saw it. You're just not ready. You're happy to believe in something that's invisible, but if it's staring you in the face, nope, can't see it. There's a scientific explanation for that. You're thick. <laughs> We're just idiots. Well, not all of you. Yeah? Present for you, Mickey. That's a virus. Put it online. It'll destroy every mention of me. I'll cease to exist. What do you want to do that for? Because you're right. I am dangerous. I don't want anybody following me. How can you say that and then take her with you? You could look after her. Come with us. I can't. This life of yours, it's just too much. I, I couldn't do it. Don't tell her I said that. I'll get a proper job. I'll work weekends, I'll pass my test, and if Jim comes round again, I'll say no. I really will. I'm not leaving because of you. I'm travelling, that's all, and then I'll come back. But it's not safe. Mum, if you saw her out there, you'd never stay home. Got enough stuff? First time I stepped in there, it was spur of the moment. Now I'm signing up. You're stuck with me. Oh. Come with us. There's plenty of room. No chance. He's a uh, liability. I'm not having him on board. We'd be dead without him. My decision is final. Sorry. <laughs> Good luck, dear. You still can't promise me. What if she gets lost? What if something happens to you, Doctor, and she's left all alone, standing on some moon a million light years away? How long do I wait then? Mum, you're forgetting. It's a time machine. I could go travelling around suns and planets and all the way out to the edge of the universe. And by the time I get back, yeah, ten seconds would have passed. Just ten seconds. So stop worrying. I'll see you in ten seconds' time. Thank you. 